Welcome to our Daily Encounter Day 4. This week we are looking at a book called Scattered Servants, Unleashing the Church to Bring Life to the City. I don't know about you, but when I was younger and I heard about an opportunity to do evangelism at church, I hoped my parents had booked a holiday. For many years, I thought evangelism was an activity I had to give time to, an activity that, if I'm honest, I was scared of. But I knew it had to be done. I was always in awe of those who found it easy to pray on the streets or those who seemed to be able to lead someone to Jesus every time they sat next to somebody new on the bus or those who seemed to know how to start a God conversation with anyone and everyone. All I knew is that wasn't my experience. Now, I know that it's important to have evangelistic events, events designed to clearly present the gospel. In fact, my wife got saved at an event I organised when I was leaving sixth form many, many years ago. So I'm certainly in favour of evangelistic events now. I'm understandably a convert, but I know they're not enough. Even all those years ago, I'd like to say when I put on the event that the hall was packed, but the truth is there were only seven guests. There were more team than guests, although every one of them did make a commitment to follow Jesus that night. Although my wife says that's because the speaker was really good looking and no, it wasn't me. In my view, There must be a more fruitful way, a way that produces a crop 30, 60, even a hundredfold more than was sown as Jesus describes in the parable of the sower in Matthew 13. Alan Scott writes, if we are to reach our cities, we must reposition our churches. And when Alan speaks of the church, he's referring to people, not buildings. Alan goes on to say, God is not sending lost people into the church. He sends the church out into the world. In the following chapter, Alan goes on to write, The shift from church planting to people planting redefines what it looks like to lead our cities into life. The problem is not that there isn't fruit ready to be picked. The problem is there are not enough people ready to be used where God has planted them. We must remember we've been scattered for a kingdom assignment to bring life to our city. As I read Scattered Servants, three problems have been highlighted as I've read. These are obstacles that we must overcome. First, we must change the way we think. No longer must we consider evangelism as an activity we do. Instead, evangelism is the overflow of who we are. People full of life will give life wherever they go. Secondly, fear. Alan writes, resist the temptation to sacrifice your future on the altar of fear. He writes, fear is like a scarecrow. It seeks to intimidate you out of your inheritance. Yet, for insightful believers, a scarecrow or fear is the indicator that there is fruit in the field. Thirdly, many of us have been crushed by disappointment. Through lack of fruitful experiences, we have lost our confidence in the gospel, the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. So let's pray today. Father God, thank you that you have called us to partner with you, to work in your field, to reap a harvest. I pray today that you would help me change the way I think, that evangelism isn't an activity that I must give time to, but my identity in Christ, the overflow of the life you have given me. Lord, I ask this in the name of Jesus. Let's continue. Let's worship Almighty God. He's worthy of our praise today. You have poured out grace You brought me out of darkness You have filled me with peace Giver of mercy You're my help in time of need Lord, I can't help but see Faithful you are Yes and amen. All your promises. 
Are yes, the 